Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded July 28th, 2015. I'm Aaron Lyons, and today we'll be talking about the latest logo branded vulnerability. And of course, we can't go a week without talking about the hacking team and OPM breaches. Today's episode is brought to you by Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in pen testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. And by Cyberary, get the latest hacking and security training from Cyberary.it. Visit hacknaked.tv forward slash Cyberary for our referral link for our listeners. The latest in the marketing arms race of logo branded vulnerabilities is Stage Fright, and it was revealed yesterday by researchers at Zimperium. Of course, their announcement is just in time for their research to be presented at Black Hat. Supposedly, these vulnerabilities allow an attacker to only need the mobile number of the target phone and to send a specially crafted media file via MMS to exploit these vulnerabilities and take over the phone. Luckily, Zimperium sells a solution that will protect you from these types of attacks. But all kidding aside, Zimperium did submit patches back to Google for all the vulnerabilities they found. The CEO of Hacking Team gave an interview to Business Week this Business Insider this past week, and it's the usual dribble you'd expect to get from a CEO. The takeaway that I had from this interview was that the hacking team has done everything completely within the law at the time they did it. My rebuttal is just because something is legal doesn't make it ethically or morally right. OPM breach, everyone is blaming China. Most of the government is blaming China. But the government isn't officially blaming China. Officials say that publicly blaming China would expose the details of the U.S.'s own espionage and cyberspace capabilities. The director of national intelligence even says that U.S. spy agencies would do the same to other governments. So I guess in this case, two wrongs do make a right. And it looks like this could escalate pretty quickly to a situation reminiscent of the Cold War. The U.S. Census Bureau was breached last week by Anonymous. Luckily, this didn't expose any of the data that it collects on U.S. households. However, it, the breach did expose the names, email addresses, users' names, office phones, and other details of the employees of the Census Bureau. It really seems that th between the OPM breach, this breach, and others, you just can't catch a break being a federal employee these days. If you're going to Black Hat and DEF CON next week, be sure to find us in the vendor areas. Not only are we going to have our Hack Naked t-shirts for sale, but we're going to have glasswares, vapes, cigars, stickers, books, and possibly even more. See you there. Have a great time. Bye.